Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are going to see how to use tuples in Python. So first of all, what are tuples? So tuples are very similar to lists. That is, they are used to store the collection of elements in a single variable. But there is a very important difference between them. And that difference is tuples are immutable. Immutable means once tuples are created, they cannot be changed or the content in them cannot be changed. So let's see how we can declare a tuple. So I'm going to declare a variable called x and I'm going to assign some values to it. Now in case of list, we have seen we used the square brackets. In the case of tuples, we use these parentheses in order to store the list of elements. So I can just write 1, 5, 3, 4, and 8, for example, and then press Enter, and it's going to create a tuple. Now, in order to print the tuple, you can use X, and it's going to print this tuple. Now, as I said, tuples are similar to lists in some ways, and that means you can uh, call a tuple element by a index in tuple. So all the tuple elements are arranged by their index and when you want to for example get the first element here you give the index 0 and then press enter and it's going to give you the value which is saved at index 0. Let's get the value which is saved at index 4 and I'm going to press enter and you can see it gives 8 which is saved at index Four. Now when I try to give an index which is not there, for example 100, it's going to give us error which says index error tuple index out of range. Now as I said, tuples are immutable, that is you cannot change the content of a tuple if they are initialized once. So let's try to test this. So I'm going to just assign the value at index 0 which is let's say 2 and I'm going to press enter and you can see it says type error tuple object does not support item assignment that is you cannot assign any other value to a tuple element if they are once initialized now that also means that you cannot use some of the functions which you used with lists in the tuples for example you cannot remove any element you cannot append any element you cannot change any element so for example, when I write uh, x here and then press dot, you can see there are few methods which are available with the tuple. And most important is this count method. So let's try to use this count method. And I want to know how many number of eight uh, which are there in this tuple. And it will give me one because eight is only present once in this tuple. If eight is present twice in this tuple, here you will see the result 2. Now in order to get the length of the tuple you can use the inbuilt function which is len and then the tuple name and then press enter and it's going to give you the length of the tuple. Now in the previous video I have told you that you can save multiple data type values in lists. Let's see if we can do the same with tuples or not. So I'm going to give the parenthesis, I'm going to give the first value as integer second value as a string, third value as, uh, for example, the decimal value, and I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to get the value of y, and you can see it's totally possible to save multiple data type values in a tuple. So now I have declared two tuples, one is x and other is y. So let's print x and y once again very quickly, and now, what we want to do is we want to use a concatenation operators. So as I said, tuples are immutable, but let me define a third tuple here. And I want to add x tuple and y tuple here. And I want to assign the value to z. Is it possible? Let's check. So I'm going to just once again see the contents in the z variable. And you can see when you use this plus operator, or concatenation operator, it's going to join these two tuple and create a new tuple with the combination of the values of both these tuples. Now there is one interesting thing which you can do with a tuple 
which is you can declare a variable and let me uh, define a tuple with only one element and I'm going to just give hi here and then after this element I'm going to provide comma here so this is important I have provided this comma and I haven't provided the second element in the tuple and I can use an asterisk here and I can use some value here so let's say I have provided 5 here and I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to see the values inside this a variable and now you can see high string is saved five times in a variable in the form of a tuple so you can once again get this uh, value at index 2 for example and it's going to give you the value which is stored at index 2 which is high itself you can also use a inbuilt function called max here to get the maximum value out of a tuple so max and i have provided x tuple here and you will be able to see it will give us the maximum value stored in that tuple and you can see here 8 is the maximum value which is there inside the tuple we can also get the minimum value using min function and it's going to give you the minimum value which is stored inside the tuple and also you can use our del function to delete our tuple so let's say i want to delete this tuple which is z here so i can just write the name of the tuple after del and space and then press enter and now once again when i try to get the value of z it's going to give me error which says name z is not defined so in order to delete the tuple you can use that del function so this is how you can use tuples in python i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video